test results batch 28 okay we got uh an asundry various brands of whatever we got a mess here uh so we've got some knives i i wanted to make sure i didn't do this video until i got pmi results because some of these you know are questionable as to whether the steel is correct as stated by the seller that kind of thing so i wanted to do that i wanted to double check some other knives so i had pmis done on some of these and others i could not i got them back i held them for a while till another guy was able to do pmis and i sent them to him and had that done and also uh, Rockwell's from uh, two different sources actually so they've been I mean they've been pawed over by two different independent testing people and I'm gonna give you the results on them and these are these are crazy we've got a lot of different knives here we've got what we call the petrified fish okay we have Turin knife t-u-r-e-n okay they're claiming that this blade is m390 uh, we have of course the pmp slip joint user made by max ace that's claiming to be m390 we've got the harns assassin we've got the harns warrior we've got effingrau the 13, EF913, 912. Uh, we've got Doom knives. We've got the Doom blade here. Here's the model number on this. And I'll show you paperwork on some of these where I got them from, that kind of thing. There's another F and Grau EF. This is the 9 or EF6, EF9. Uh, EF6, sorry. And then this is the TAC NWO. All right. Saying it's S35VN. The Nemo knives and Fat Dragon. And then, of course, the Ranker 2 by Bear Ops. We've got two of those. Okay, let's start off first with the petrified fish it's saying it's d2 steel right here interesting knife really nice bearings uh, I've had this for months been dying to get it tested find out if it's for true and for real you know I got mine on probably AliExpress 26 27 bucks something like that and they come in different colors, that kind of thing. So, next page. Here's the PMI results, okay? It's D2. There's your chromium, yeah, right around 12%, all that kind of thing right there. It's HRC is 62 on this knife, okay? And it is D2. So, go figure, right? And here you go, right here petrified fish 62 hrc and you can see it's 62 hrc next up is my little flying fish by Torin knives i thought it was just really a super cool looking super cool looking knife snake wood handle on here mosaic pin and they're saying m390 and check this out I think this is a micarta surround here but really a uh, thin slicey blade and i thought wow uh, i think i paid like 82 bucks for it it's supposed to be like oh a, some kind of a skin of uh, they say python and then they say something else so uh, some kind of skin animal skin inserted here and this is leather etc information on it here's what i bought flying fish Turin, cpm m390 snakewood handle is it real and guess what how crazy this is check it out 
Chromium, 20%. Vanadium, 4.72. Yeah, oh baby, yes it is. It's absolutely M390, yes, and the HRC, 61. 61 HRC. And here is the test right here with the knife on it, and it is virtually 61 HRC. It's just absolutely hilarious. Sometimes you get these off-brand knives, AliExpress. You're going, yeah. I mean, a lot of times these sellers um, are a little bit uh, overstated on the steel, shall we say. Maybe actually uh, not sure of what it is and just restating what the manufacturer tells them. But in this case, it's real M390 at a 61 HRC, that's, I mean, that's nice. Doesn't mean that the heat treat has been done, the quench was right, all the kind of stuff like that. But, you know, we can tell you what we can tell you. Yes, it's real M390, and yes, the hardness is a 61. Next, PMP user, this is a slip joint. This is made by Max Ace. Bought this from White Mountain Knives. It says M390. And Patrick was a little concerned because a guy over in Europe bought one of these. And then he'd cut up a bunch of citrus and this and that. But he never cleaned the blade off. And three days later, there's this corrosion look, you know, film of what looks like a little bit of corrosion on the blade. And he came back at Patrick like, that's not M390, okay? It can't be if it's going to corrode. And I told him, anything with carbon in it will corrode, my friend. So uh, if he didn't wash it down, no. I mean, yes, it can corrode. Not a problem. But he wanted me to test it anyhow. So here's the PMI results. And here we are, about 20% chromium. Okay. Where's the vanadium? Absolutely. Th there's no question. Yes. This is M390. The HRC was 59, and you can see Kurt did the HRC, but he didn't do the PMI. Uh, but my other guy did the PMI on it. So, and here's your readout. So, right as plain as day. HRC was 59. Yeah, it'd been nice if it was 60, 61, but okay. But it's the real deal. And, and so we've answered that question. Next up. The Harns Assassin. I got this one from Power Cutlery. Some one viewer or something said, "Have you tried out the Harns Assassin?" And I had, I had done several of them. You know the Harns knives, and so here comes this one. And yeah, this is long, slender, really cool. 14C 28N, supposedly correct. So I sent it in for testing. And what did we get for results? Here's the PMI. Take a look at it. And yes, it is 14C28N. And the HRC was 61. Mm, pretty doggone good. And where does it say on the dial? Right there. There's the knife. There's the dial. Can we be any more specific? All right. So, Harns Assassin, good to go. Next. Harns Warrior. Let's talk about the Warrior. Let me kick this out of the way here. Okay, next, Harns Warrior. And this is a big dog, isn't it? And the Assassin being 14C28N, but this is saying it's D2. And it's a big dog. And it's got uh, a, a, a sheath in here, too. It's big. It's a honker. 9.23 inches overall length, almost 4-inch blade. It's a hoss. So I thought, I really want to know, is that really D2? So let's find out. All right. Here's my Harns uh, Warrior. I bought mine off of Amazon. $27.99. Okay. They saying it's D2. Here's our paperwork. Right here, the PMI does detect D2 on this particular software suite. So, yes, it says D2. And here you go. 
chromium under 12 percent correct uh actually the vanadium level is pretty healthy for what i'm assuming is a chinese made knife because a lot of times it's like 0 0.17 0 0.12 something like or 0 0.3 but 0.827 pretty good um because that that vanadium level will vary on these d2 knives and the hrc 60.3 60.3 Kurt did this one so I don't have a picture of the Wilson uh, machine with the dial only did for my other guys so here you go Harns Warrior D2 but you can see Kurt actually test this on video J cool G 19 is his YouTube channel there you go so yes it tests true to form and actually has a pretty good HRC. Somebody turned me on to this knife, and, and the thing is about this knife, it wasn't branded Effen Grau. Uh, he called it some other brand name, and it was interesting. And I go, wow, that's interesting. So I went on AliExpress, I think where he bought his, and I looked it up, and then I saw another knife looked exactly the same, exactly the same, and it said F and Grau, and this says D2, and this is the EF913, uh, okay? So I go, wow, cool. And then I thought, maybe I can find it on Amazon, and sure enough, I did find it on Amazon, and so that's where I bought it, okay? And it's a hoss. It's a huge knife right here, $26.99. It's big. This guy bought one. I think he said he was so impressed he's going to buy another one. So I did get to test this finally. And here's our test results on the D2. And does it say D2? Nope. Oh, well, D2 is under at or well under 12% chromium. So that's definitely wrong. Vanadium, well, that's possible for Chinese D2, but bottom line, HCR 13 MOV, HRC is 59.2. So the HRC, the Rockwell, ain't that horrible, but it's not D2. So this is the seventh F and ground knife I've tested that said it was D2. And once again, seven for seven, they're effing liars, okay? So that's a complete uh, lie. It's HCR. And I'm not saying that this you can't sharpen this up, you can't use it, this and that. I mean, for the no more than they're charging for it, they ought to say it's HCR 13. And, you know, God be with you, whatever, because I would have still bought it if it was HCR 13. I wouldn't have cared. I didn't buy it because it was D2. I bought it because I thought the design was cool. And it's a monster. It's a freaking monster. And it's got great action. I'm not saying that, you know, it's not fun to put in your hand and fidget with. And it's a beast. Ah, it's a big old beast. So it's cool. I thought it was fun. And uh, still do. But why lie? I mean, I don't get it. Uh, why should you? I know everybody went on a D2 craze, but I'm over the D2 spell, and I'm ready to go back to OS 8. I don't care, 440, VG10, you know, put them all in a barrel. They're all good user steals, N690, what have you. So, oh well. Um, the next one, let's go to another F and growl. We're seven for seven as a F and lie. And this is the EF12. And so one guy says, okay, here's the deal. They have the EF12. It has titanium scales. It has a titanium pocket clip backspacer, okay? So they are telling me, I'm not me, but the guy that was talking to me, that this is for true and for sure D2. Okay, so thank God I was lucky enough to get it tested. I bought it 
on Amazon, $69.99. There you go, Amazon. And of course, it's D2. It's titanium. It's awesome. And it's a lie. It's a lie. Chromium's too high. So this is in the 8CR area. And that's exactly what my guy is saying. It's 8CR13. HRC is 57.3, which ain't nothing to brag about, but probably 56. I don't, I can't remember 8CR13 if it's 58 to 61. Can't remember the acceptable range we had on our chart. You guys can look at it because I'll have the link there to our actual spreadsheet. But so it's not far off of acceptable, but it is a little soft. And of course, yes, it's not D2. Not by the wildest stretch of your imagination. So let's get off of the F and Grau thing and let's go to Doom. Doom and Gloom, right? Okay, here's the Doom knife. And somebody, uh, you know, mentioned to me, hey, what's going on? These are on AliExpress and they're Doom blades. And uh, let me see if I can work this box out without cutting myself. And here's this. Tape the box back together. It's a piece of shite. But in case you are interested, and he was going, you know, if this is really D2, this is a heck of a buy at $15.33. And they come in different colors. And I'm going, wow, okay, that's interesting. I mean, you know, 15 bucks, hell, I'll give it a shot. And the results are it should be an effing growl because it's an effing liar. <laughs> it's not D2. Look at the chromium. Way too high, right? Way too high. 5CR15. Oh, and a 54.9 HRC. Oh, my God. You wouldn't even have to sharpen this after cutting butter, really soft butter, one time. And then you'd have to sharpen it. Uh, yeah, so, oh, well. Nothing like fun. 54.9. So I guess Kurt must have done the HRC because I don't have the picture of the dial. So this will be on his channel. God bless America. So here we go. This one doesn't even say F and Growl on it, but it's the EF. Came in an F and Growl box. Says EF6 Tactical. Okay. Got this because Chad in uh, Kansas said... Oh, he posted it on, on uh, Facebook, on one of the groups I'm in. And so I go, oh, that's a cool look. I couldn't, couldn't pin the style down for a while. But later, I think I saw a Olamic knife that looked like it. So, yeah, they probably uh, did away with that. I mean, took that design and ran with it. Um, so it's interesting it's got bearings it flips fine it's a beast it's a little edgy around here really if you want to really tidy this knife up take it apart and hit some of these edges and stuff because it's a little grabby edgy uh, so it needs some cleanup i was a little disappointed the fit and finish wasn't better and then it's a bit off center i have to work on that maybe if it's worth working on but it it, it it's got no play so this one was pretty damn cheap i got it where he got his on amazon 25.99 oh my god it's 9 cr 18 so they're not saying this d2 right f and growl what is this number nine okay we had six that were f and liars seven eight this would be number nine okay so number nine are we nine for nine or what let's find out here we go, but doesn't matter, chromium, no, whatever, it's it's not D2, and no, 5CR15. Okay, and the HRC is a lovely, nice and soft and comfortable 56.5, so there you go. Maybe that might be actually an acceptable range for 5CR, uh, I forget now, so there you go. Nine for nine, we're an effing liar. And there you go. Oh, are we at a 72? Oh, <laughs> not even close. Oh my God. 
soft and lovely. So, yeah, nine for nine. Bam. Okay, so here comes another story, right? I got to quit hanging out on Amazon. I'm getting influenced in a bad way. Okay, so this is TAC NWO. Check this out. S35EN. What does this look like? A native? Yeah, I think it, yeah, it does. Okay, so it looks like a spider co design. Uh, sands the round hole. Now you got an oblong hole. So a guy told me, oh my God, check this out. Um, you know, they're like, I don't know what they were, 28 or $32 or something on Amazon. Here's the Amazon thing, but they're no longer currently available. Look at this. It's CPM S35VN American Steel Blade and Pocket Clip by TAC NWO. Oh my God, the ratings are four out of five stars. What a buy. What a great buy. I got this, and it is real gritty trying to open and close here. Whatever the hell's in there. I don't know what it is, but this is not smooth. You'd have to take the washers out and polish them down really well. Um, and then, and then it, I guess it'd be okay. Um, but yeah, obviously it's a great design, right? Spyderco. So here we go. Thank God they're currently not available because I wouldn't want you guys to go out and buy this garbage barrel because 5CR15, right? Do the high uh, molly. Um, you know, here's your chromium, manganese, molly, and yeah, it's just, and there's your vanadium. Okay, so, nope, wrong, just wrong. So, let's see, a total lie. Oh, here's another knife. Another lovely of lovelies and this is next to our last one we'll get into the bear ops rank or two here in a minute so this is nemo knives came in this box fat dragon design so on this back side designed by fat dragon 440c i'm going hey it's got to be a no fail here they're not saying it's d2 they're not saying it's s35 vn they're not and, and it's really a cool looking knife. I saw this on Instagram and I chased it down. Oh God, it needs to be adjusted. I'm sorry. I haven't adjusted the pivot recently and it's come a little loose. But uh, they, we're talking about the blade, not the centering right now. It's still pretty much centered. So yeah, interesting knife, G10, steel liners, that kind of thing. I thought really cool. It does come in different colors. Let me show you. So this is where I got it. $37.99. And I thought, eh, it's worth a shot. What the hell? I'm always interested in reaching out and doing some strange stuff. Getting some different types of knives. And strange as it is. Yes, it is strange. And guess what? Can it at least be 440? Hell no. <laughs> Well, 440 steel is a higher chromium level than this. So this is 8CR13. Okay. Uh, minimum for, chro for chromium on a 440 is 16%. So, mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. But, I mean, I don't give a crap. 440 or 8CR13. Okay. All right. It is what it is. Um, but, you know, why say it's 440 if it's going to be 8 CR? It's really, you're not downsizing a whole lot. So, I don't know the point. Just be honest, please. And here's your HRC. It's a 59. So, that's not horrible right here. I mean, that's nothing to cry about necessarily, especially for 8 CR. That's right in the green zone. Okay, so I'm pushing these back, pushing back, way back. Okay, and so we've got two Bear Ops Ranker 2 knives. Number one, number two. I bought this one from a Bear Ops National Distributor. 
I had it for a while, and I thought on a whim, you know what, I'm going to send it in and get it tested. You know, uh, it ought to be interesting to see, uh, because if you've seen them, if you've seen them, like, they're $49.95, a hell of a deal, right? 3.25 inch blade, CPM S30V. Where are they made? Well, if you drop this down, it says USA made, okay? The Ranker 2 Bear Ops made in the USA. So uh, I had this one, I finally sent it in and had it tested. And my testing guy tested the HRC and also the PMI and he goes, it's not, it's, it's not uh, S30V. I have that test sheet inside. That's the number one test sheet. Okay, so, uh, but it agrees with my second PMI from another source that also PMI'd this knife. And I notified Bear Ops and I emailed back and forth with one of their management people about that. And he said, that seems odd. I, I attached the uh, PMI sheet, all the kind of stuff. And he was going to look into it, etc. He goes, I don't know how to explain that because uh, we get our steel directly from the steel manufacturer, which I guess would be Crucible Industries in this case. So this is number one knife, and here's the PMI results. They agree with the first scan that I had done. Okay? So, obviously, if you pull up like AG Russell sheet and you look at CPM S30V we can't test for carbon because that's a light element so it's not going to show on ours 14% uh, chromium well this is 13.9 okay that's close enough right all right so then the next thing is 4% vanadium well, here, if you can see the vanadium content, it's 0.174. Okay, that's nowhere near the 4% vanadium content that you get with S30V. Of course, that's a big part of what gives it its wear resistance, its cutting ability to go long and hard. Uh, and there you go, you've lost it there. So, and then... Molly 1% according to this chart and your Molly down here is 0.599. So, yeah. It's just not anywhere near and so he's saying absolutely no. It's somewhere between a 5 CR15 8 CR13 and my first tester said, "Yeah, it looks more like an 8 CR13 type steel." Okay? So, there you go. That's the first one. Okay, let's look at the second one. Where's the vanadium content? 4%? No. Chromium? 14%. And that's pretty close with this number one blade. So, these two knives, uh, they look a lot alike. 84% iron. Uh, you've got uh, Damali at point. Almost 6.6. .6. This other one, 0.654. So you got a little bit of variance. And then the vanadium close as well. But not 4%. Okay. So there you go. HRC on the uh, number two knife was 56.7. Okay. On the first one was 57.5. So nowhere near where the HRC should be if it was S30V, or really even if it's uh, HCR13, still shy on that. So these two bought from different sellers, from a national distributor, this from a retailer that's a bear ops, you know, uh, authorized retailer, uh, months apart, okay? So, at first they were saying that maybe uh, a blade that they use of softer steel they used to do their setup for grinding, to get their grinder dialed in to grind blades, that blade may have gotten mixed up in the batch. But here I've got two different knives, two different outlets, months apart, 
and they both test exactly the same as pretty close to HCR13. So that's not good, and the HRC is not very promising as well. That's all I'm saying. They're going to send me a couple more knives to test. They're looking into the situation, I think, with all good uh, intentions. Uh, I don't think this is, was an intentional move on their part. Maybe a supplier. And wow, uh, that's unfortunate. But these knives do not conform to the S30V. If you have one and you've had it tested and it is S30V, then wow, we've got just two you know, variants right here that just happened to get to me somehow out of the masses. Uh, so I'm just reporting uh, and telling you what our test results were. And I've got test sheets from the first one. Uh, the second one didn't get tested by two different people. The first one did. Okay. The second one did not, but they all agree. So they're all saying it's not S30V. And of course, for the HRC, if you want to see the, the, this is the daily calibration test he did before he did any of the Rockwell testing on the knives I sent him. So there you go. It's a 46.3. This reads out at 46.3, and you can see the test block is 46.3. All right, so he did that uh, calibration block just to make sure he was reading correctly. All these HRCs should be correct. Some of them were done uh, by Kurt. Some of them were done by the person that I have gone to now. To help me with some of the PMIs, he also has Rockwell and can do that as well. So, all right, enough of craziness, but I just thought, wow, isn't that, uh, it's interesting, isn't it? When you can put these up and, I mean, some goofball knife like this, although this is beautiful, it's so light. I love this thing. And knowing now that it tested like it tested, uh... I'm just saying that was definitely worth 81 bucks, okay? Unfortunately, I'm not sure. You know, if you can buy a knife for 20 something dollars and it ends up being 8CR13, okay. I mean, they should have just told you that up front. Some guys will go, well, I ain't going to buy it because they lied. It's not because, oh, I got a little bit of a downgrade of steel. It's just because they lied. And yeah, I kind of understand that. Uh, yeah. So, but the, it's, it's interesting. I'm going to test some more Harns models, and you can get them on White Mountain Knives, by the way. And so I've got some coming from White Mountain and not going to buy them on Amazon as long as he's got them. And Power Cutlery also has Harns, by the way. That's where I got this Assassin from Harns Cut, uh, from Power Cutlery. So uh, they have been true to form. Yes, this is Sandvik. And yes, this is D2, and they were both uh, pretty good Rockwell numbers as well. F and Grau, they are just dying. Let me tell you something about F and Grau. If you buy a CH brand knife from F and Grau, do not call it an F and Grau. F and Grau will sell it on Amazon under their seller name of F and Grau. Look on the blade. If the blade says CH knife and it has their model like 3506 or whatever, that's a CH knife. It's not an F and Grau knife. I've tested that. I have gotten a knife under the F and Grau sale name and I've had it tested and it's true to form, okay? Because it comes from CH knives. I'm not sure that CH is going to have F and Grau, you know, uh, pimp for them anymore USA side okay Evan Grau was kind of this conduit bringing some of the CH knives to the USA market but I don't think that's a smart move because Evan Grau has got kind of a black eye in my book so no no way I wouldn't do it so I'm going to leave you to it but just do not confuse Evan Grau where it says Evan Grau 
where it says F and Grau. Do not confuse that with CH knives. We've tested them. They are true to form, okay? All right, I'm going to leave it to you. But I thought this was really an interesting batch, didn't you? I mean, so many different off-brands, weird stuff. But answering a lot of questions, there's no point in PMI testing like Benchmade or Spyderco or ZT or a lot of those because you know they're going to be right. I, I don't have to worry about that. I got to worry about these guys, the Doom, whatever the Tac Wow or whatever the hell that is. <laughs> what is that? Sham Wow? Was that Vince? You lying to me? And then Petrified Fish, Turin Knives, things like that. Okay. And I think it's fascinating. I think we're going to keep going down this road, test out some odd and unusual stuff. But this really blew me away. This really blew me away. So, you know, because I'm sitting there going, wow, uh, that's too bad. That's too bad. All right. I'll leave you to it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Batch 28 in the books. And you know what we do around here. We love them knives, you guys. Stay sharp.